And we are live. Hello, everybody. And we got, um, Ed's going to be just a little bit late because his mom made a late dinner. So he said he'd be five minutes or so late. And Blackie's taking care of his parents right now. So he'll be, he said he's coming in, but he'll be late. And Sarah is, will probably be late too. So. so I'll just keep an eye out for everybody. And meanwhile, if anybody wants to come up, the link is pinned at the top. And, um. You want to say hello to everybody, Bob? I was going to say it's a shame you couldn't get Bob and you'd really pack a crowd in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's Pam. There's Grasshopper. There's Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, there's Soul Taker. There's Kiwi. Uh, a lot of talking. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. Sky Dancer. And I think it's everybody. Chew. Huh? Chew. Oh, way up. Yeah. Sorry. Chew and Vinoski just came in and said hi. Hey, Vinoski. So, hello, everybody. I'm probably going to start a drawing here in a little bit. I just need to rest my eyes for a little bit because I've been painting all day and my eyes are a little bit blurry. And I'm waiting for my coffee to get done and I'll like scarf down some coffee and then, um, probably do a little drawing. I am probably going to do a stream tomorrow night and like do a few things for a small auction because um, I got a freaking $270 electric bill that I got to get paid. <laughs> so I need to do a small auction. $270 for heating, Bob. What do you, what is your heating run? Um, it's been running between two fifty and three fifty. It just depends on the weather. Yeah, well, it's been cold. It, I've got a lot, 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 lot smaller place, but the thing is, is that it's been really cold here for the last month. So I got a big bill that I got to pay. A big one for me. That's a big bill. Yeah. I'd say I won't have one next month. They'll probably turn it off since I spent my bill money for snakes today. Snakes and and scorpions and yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Bob's going to show us his new snakes here in a little bit. When he's done eating and stuff. Oh, there's Ed. Hi, Ed. How are you? Hi, Ed. Oh, let hey, me see that shirt. Oh, it's a silly shirt. I like it. <laughs> and you see, look, he's got one of those uh, little uh, T-Rex pincher things. And so that's grabber, why he's yeah. now, <laughs> even though he's a, a T-Rex. <laughs> okay. My favorite T-Rex thing is a, a little cartoon thing that I saw one time, but I don't have it to show everybody, but it's a T-Rex sitting on the toilet trying to reach the toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. I'd get a shirt like that in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Ed, your sound is low. Okay, let me, uh, I'm That's trying much to. much better. Much better. I think I think Nico was on the sound. It could be. I was. I'm trying to fix it so I can be on YouTube also, so I can read what people are saying. I can hear you, but it went back down. I mean, so well, Grasshopper <laughs> says, "How do I buy a Tennessee Tennessee Fish Mafia shirt?" Good luck. Yeah, uh, right now I don't really have an easy way to sell them. I need to figure out how to set up a Dan's Get Gills account, and then I'll uh, try to do it that way. Maybe on Get Gills, but that I haven't work. done it yet. There we go. You could you could sell them on mine, Ed. Ed. Yeah, but it'd be cool to have my own. Nothing uh -huh. personal. I know. I just, I need to figure out how, 
darn it. I need to figure out how to uh, do it so I can have my own. And then if I ever learn how to bag fish good, then I could sell right. fish too. So I am, I have these toys called Danger Girl toys. I've had them for a couple, for about 20 years now. And they come with these neat little models that all snap together. And then they stand on these little models, but they fall all apart. So tonight I'm gluing them all together. There you oh, go. Cool. Danger Girls. Yeah, they're a comic book thing. I got them in a Comic Con years ago. Gotcha. See, there's like one of them, and then here's another one. And her, the ice always pops out of the back of this one. But they're just like really cool little action figure things. And then the bad guy is a really big, cool giant guy, but his background doesn't ever break. So I'm not worrying about him. They're nice looking gals, that's for sure. Yep, and then there's one more. I'll show you her once I get to her. But, boy, I... I forgot all about Bob going to uh, Murfreesboro today to the toy fest or to the uh, pet show. Yeah, exotic pets. Really cool. Was it stuff. Ever? You got to tell us all about it, Bob. It was so packed in there you could hardly move, and I was getting aggravated, and I thought, hmm. Nobody had a mask, and I didn't think to wear mine in. I could have gone and got it. But you could see COVID floating around, just whiffs, whiffs of, of it everywhere. You could just see oh, it. Man. Yeah, it's been bad here. We've had it at the Ark in the last couple of weeks. we got one out now with it. Well, that's no good. So I expect I'll come down with that again. But it was really cool. I was there by myself because Ed forgot me. And no, I'm teasing. Well, you and should have called me. I only did about five times, Ed. Oh, you did? I messaged you. Hmm. I don't know if I got them. Not today, over the last month. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't remember it the last minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. It's all right. You would have really liked it though, because they had all the stuff you liked and more. They had, they did have plenty of snakes and reptiles and all that stuff too. But they had all kinds of bugs I'd never seen. It was just a lot of good stuff to look at. I came home yeah, that with. Would have been. Uh, I came home with four snakes, four new snakes, and. Oh, three, four. Yep, two of them are the same. That's the ones I got to get up in a minute and empty a tank for. So. I put it off well, all evening. I went as far as uh, looking for shows to go to. I uh, almost went to a Matchbox car show in Knoxville, and I'm like, man, I don't like Matchbox cars, but I was just so bored I wanted to do something today. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't wanna... think about exotic pets. I didn't want to bother you. I had asked you at Pam's uh, stream the other night if you were going to go, and you said what you said before when I asked you, so, so I figured if yes. you wanted to go, you'd go. Should let oh, me. well. Yeah. But it was such an, such an easy drive. You know, it's Murfreesboro, this side of Nashville. And yeah. Beautiful so. today. Yazzie gets the handicap parking, so that wasn't an issue. That's always good. Mm -hmm. Did you take Yazzie in? No, I didn't take him. It's his sticker oh. I use, though, you know. Yeah. I'll show you guys That's the nice finished idea. drawing that I was working on last week. Let's see. Although I did a video of it, too, but we'll, we'll show it anyway for anybody that didn't catch the video. That's it. 
What kind of dog oh, is it? Looking great. What? What kind of dog is it? Um, I am not sure. A German Shepherd crossed with something. It kind of looks like Princess at a glance, where her ears do, but but not the colors. Looking good. Is it finished? Yep, it's done. Awesome. I don't know that I've ever seen you do a dog other than Buddy. <laughs> Who is that? That was Yazi, I think. Somebody touched him. <laughs> They've got four beds right here under the dining room table. So Princess is over here. Oh, it must have been Worm. Come on, Worm. Did you touch Yazi? Come here. There she is. I'll get you up here. Poor Worm. I know. We go by Worm at home because she still loves that. But she's Eartha Kit. Oh, there she is. Yep. But I'll show you the snakes in a minute if you want to see them. Yes, we do. I got a ball python. Uh, Mike's listening, and so I know it's a, a pastel super stripe. She's really pretty. And I got another corn snake, of course. It's a Tessera creamsicle. So it's the color and its pattern of like a creamsicle ice cream. Oh, I love those. Um, but of course it's hiding, it'll hide out for a few days. And then I got two of the, uh, I got, uh, they had two of them, they had a pair, so I thought, well, why not go ahead and get them both? Because they're collier breads and they're live bears. And the, the guy raised these, he said he's got about 60 of them from babies. They're the sunbeam snake. Ed, do you remember that snake we saw that time that kept diving down into the, the, the dirt? one? The, and it would jump back out. It was so super shiny. Yep. Yeah. Well, that you was got one, one of those. I got two of them, but but they're they're not wild caught. He had he uh, you know he has the parents, and they're very very calm like the ball pythons, and you can hold them, and they don't bite. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. Are I they guess. slimy? No, no, no. They just look really shiny. I'll hold one of them up here, but you really can't tell. Oh, I can see they're shiny. Hard to see. That's awesome, Bob. Little humid in there, but yeah, I got a boy and a girl. So, and lots of frozen mice and rats. And look at that worm. Say hello, worm. Oh. Worm has it rough, I'll tell you. <laughs> she went to the shelter meeting, not the board with me, to the ark the other day, and the, our vet was there that knows her too. And, she, they kept pointing at her like, look at Worm, and I'm like, that's what she does. She was just sitting in my lap with her head up in the air, sleeping with her eyes open. What she does. Nico's sleeping right there. Right there, yep. He's mad back. because I was using his pillow on for the next one I'm going to build. Uh, <laughs> hey, Nico. There. You can scoot over now. Nope. Oh. You're, in his, you're in his way, Ed. I know. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. You're in your Nico's So way. this is... Oh, look, it's Blackie. Hey, Blackie. Hey, guys. How are we? Great. So I glued all that stuff down so it'll stop falling apart because I'm tired of always reassembling it. Cool. What did you use, super glue or? Uh, I used my model glue. Okay. So it should bind really good. It should. Oh, I didn't How's everyone that. going? I'm starting to get kind of chilly. It's getting chilly. I couldn't eat any chilly if I had it. Oh, I could. I wonder why. I could. Let's see. Is Mike still in here? Um, I, I think so. my internet's going nuts. Is it? Bob gets his uh -huh. obsessed with snakes. I would hate to see him 
get into fish keeping. Good God, I had 82 tanks. You don't call that obsessed? <laughs> Whip your snake out. Mm -mm -mm. If Mike's in here, I'm going to show y'all the new ball, new ball python. Yep, there's Mike. All right. Let me see. Let me turn this around. So, let me just do this. Can you see her? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. She's a pastel super stripe. And I put her in with this gentleman. It's the newest ball python I've got. And he, he's already been stroking on her. I mean, not sexual. He just likes her. He's quite a bit bigger than her. Do you think he might be eyeballing her to see if he can eat her? No. <laughs> no, I've got their mice here. He's active because they probably smell their mice here in a cup, Colin. No, but she's pretty. Yeah, really she pretty. does. Really pretty. Uh, thank you. That's my that's my hand thing so I could get back in when I left if I wanted back in. The straight line of the magic marker. Where'd Blackie go? Sorry. Um, Blackie. He's redoing his, his internet. There, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Just, uh, I seem to have been having trouble with the internet, so I just restarted my computer, and it seems to be much better now. Yeah, the picture is a lot clearer and stuff, so <clears throat> hopefully how's, you'll stay How's on. your father doing, Blackie? Not great. Uh, yeah, lo it's lots and lots of work. I'm actually, my shirt that I'm sitting here in, right down my back is very, very wet because it's sweaty work, lugging an old man around and trying to get him to do things in a stuffy house where he won't have fans or air conditioning on. Oh, now I'm going again, aren't I? Dang it, dang it, dang it. You're Pam good was, to me. Pam was filling me in a little bit before we started. So. Oh, and there he went. Yeah, I'd say that was your fault that time, Pam. I didn't touch any buttons. Uh -huh. But I think my coffee's ready, it sounds like. So I'm going to be right back. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. So did you see any crabs there? Um... I don't think I did. I saw all kinds of, uh, like my um, scorpion and just all kinds of things that I had never seen before. And there were, a bit, for every adult, there were about 35 children. Oh, that looks good. I blow you yes, up. You all that ice in. That ice is always falling off the back. Yep. So... Where are you going to put those? Are you going to I just built them? some shelves in my hallway that goes to my laundry room because it's like a 14 foot hallway with nothing in it. So I thought I would put a uh, shelves in on one side and then put all my art on the other side. Oh, right. this is this girl's an Australian. What's your name, Monique? Um, her name is Sydney, Sydney Sydney. Savage. <laughs> we'll have to show that because she comes. I figured out that she was an Australian because she comes with a, uh, oh, yeah, or not a, tro uh, a, a koala. Yeah, so cool. she's bent a little oddly. Let's see. She is, she's a uh, nubile, I think that's called nubile. She comes with a whip. Cool. Should be good to train Yazi, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Those Australians are good at stuff. Yeah, they are. There's, there we go. She has like this little whip. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay. Sound effects. We'll have to show everything. that to Blackie. Yeah. 
now I've got to figure out how to put this little thing together. Comes with three logs and a rope. Three logs and a rope? Three logs? Logs. Worm, you need to get a hobby. You need to get a hobby, girl. Yep. You're used to having two sisters to worry all the time. Yep. Where did her two sisters go? They went to North Carolina. They said they couldn't deal with her anymore. Now, I knew we would never get all three of them adopted together, so I took her. And uh, we posted them, and they got adopted by two days. A lady drove over from North Carolina two and a half hours to visit them twice. They're doing really well. We're down to three dogs, Ed. Oh, my three. gosh. You guys are about to go out of business. I'm telling you, three dogs and five cats. But I'm getting two new cats Monday. Or they're going to the vet Monday, and then I'll get them after that. But, yeah, we need some dogs. I mean, it's good that dogs have homes, but. Well, if I had a dog, I'd donate it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> I thought about putting Yazi over there just to fill some space, but the others don't want him there. Imagine that. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at that. I took Princess one day last week, and she didn't care for it. She asked me not to take her back anymore. I was by myself one day. I'm there five days a week now. Cheapers, Bob. You better yeah. not get in trouble from your doctor. Yeah. What they don't, what they don't know won't hurt them. Yeah, but it could hurt you. No, I've been real careful. I build up over a year, and I'm just taking real good care. It's all the okay. all the drugs. Ed, I had an epidural two weeks ago, and then I have a, what you call it, carpal tunnel. And when I hold my phone too much, that's what sets it off. So I got that injected the other day. So there's Pam back. I'll tell you the rest of it later. Okay, that's cool. Pam <sighs> doesn't want to hear about boy stuff anyway. Right. She is she really understand. She was really being a girl when I posted a video of my scorpion. She was like, no, no, no. And I told her, stop oh. being such a girl. Hey, Holly. That's actually your scorpion? I have a scorpion. Yeah. That's oh mine. Oh my god, I thought it was just something that you videotaped. Mm-mm. It's mine. Check this out. What is it? My weather for the next week. Oh. Let's show you guys. Black Isn't that lovely? Oh, Tomorrow, wow. six for a high and minus 12. Snow showers. Monday, a high of seven and minus nine for a low. And tonight it's going to get down to one degree. So, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Blackie's not out there, is he? What's that? Blackie's not out there, is he? No. It's not about that. We couldn't see. Here's the forecast for Dayton. Well, it's going to be pretty nasty here. We yeah, it is. It's going to be... Tomorrow, 47 for a high, a low of 45 and rainy. Oh, gosh, I wish I had Monday, that. Monday's 57 to 42 and rainy. Tuesday's 48 to 35 and rainy. Wednesday is 46 to 41 and rainy. Thursday's 49 to 37 and rainy. It rains all the time. <laughs> I'll it's be so walking, weird to be in a uh, rainforest. I'll be walking art dogs in that rain and my dogs. Hi, too. Sarah. Hello. <laughs> I have something wrong with my screen. We get, on Saturday, we get sun. Blackie's going to be back in a minute. He was like redoing his modem because his internet kept going off. Uh, bummer. So he was going to try restarting his modem. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well. I hope it works for you. When I signed up, then my screen went like 
zoomed in all the way to just like one little white square of the screen, so I couldn't see anything. Oh, I got wow. it now. Oh God! Remember when TVs used to do that, Pam? Yep. I like it when you used to be able to fix your TV by punching it. Right. <laughs> Slap it on the top. Yeah. I remember that. Grab a hold of the rabbit ears. It always made the picture come in better. There's the man. There he is. Third time's the charm, maybe. That's what they say. So far, so good. Very good. Mate. Maybe my, my computer just didn't want to play until Scungy was here. Probably. Probably not. We can't blame it for that. Well, oh, you guys are all sweaty. I'm going to show my, my weather report again real quick for my upcoming weather. Just so you feel feel better. I think or I worse. already just got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, helps if the microphone's in front of me, doesn't it? I'll switch it over to Celsius too so you guys can see. Maybe if it'll switch. Maybe not. Doesn't want us. Oh, there we go. That's what it is right now. Man. That's what it's going to be tomorrow. Minus 25 Celsius with snow showers. As, as nasty as that sounds, it kind of sounds pleasant compared to what I'm in now. It does. <laughs> well, I just had to have like a cold shower because I was so sweaty and disgusting. It's hideous. <laughs> ice cold shower and I'm back to hot now. Yeah, it doesn't take long. Yeah. Yep. It's refreshing, though. Look, it's an Australian. What's her name? Sydney Savage. Sydney Savage. <laughs> she has a and little he... pet, uh, whatchamacallit? Koala. Koala. And uh, crocodile. Croc. There's a snake in the background, but it doesn't have a head, so really There's good. a snake <laughs> in her background. Mm, diamond python, I believe they want it to be. Was that a hand sticking up there? Yeah, her hand's like, ole. No, I mean. Because that's what they her. do in Australia. It's, yeah, it's a, a very typical Australian gesture. Ole. <laughs> ole. She does have blue eyes like Australians. Don't all Australians have blue eyes? And and bustling cleavage. Yes. I've got, my, her cleavage is very similar to mine. Whip. Yeah. <laughs> she just dropped her whip. So that glue's working wonders for you. Well, I didn't glue the the weapons. Cause you never know, she might want to pick up a pistol instead. Yeah, fair call. Cool. But I think that's why she's really good with a whip because they don't use a lot of guns in Australia. She can rip a gun out of everybody's hand, you know, with that thing. Indiana yep. Jones style. Yeah. yeah. It, this girl, I left her gun in the other room, but I think her torso is starting to turn green. <laughs> or not green, but yellow. And, and the rest of her shirt is uh, light blue. Huh. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. What's her name, She's Lana? Old. What's her name, Lana Turner? <laughs> Abby Chase. Oh, really? Yeah. Something about her reminds it's nice me of nice that they Lana put their Turner. names on the on the action figures she doesn't have and a sweater on my bob right she's from uh the antarctic she's, oh, she, she's dressed she's for it you know? right? yeah she's definitely yeah. dressed for the antarctic isn't she, she is <laughs> maybe she's a uh, finish or something <laughs> and she finishes people off with her knives right yeah. Okay, I'm going to go get the bad guy so I can glue his torches to his because I just realized his torches are in here. So, I'll be back. Are you working on some shirts tonight, Sarah? I have one that I can draw on and maybe one that I can fix up that I started the other day. So, I've ordered some, some more 
thanks to Mikey who provided the funds for me to order some more shirts to draw on. Um, but that's all I've got to draw on at the moment. So I'll see, um, see how I go. The other thing that I did bring with me maybe is I've been making some more jewelry. So I've brought like the piece that I've been was trying to finish. I was like, oh, maybe I can get some of that done while I'm sitting here. And otherwise I might draw on paper because I've got lots of that. Oh, you want to see it? I want to see it, yes. Okay. Well, the one that I brought to work on is this one. And it's, oh, it's actually just awesome. a lava stone out of my drink <laughs> with some garnets on it. And I'm just, I've mostly done it, so I just need to knot it up a bit further. I feel like I'm not displaying it very nice. Very cool. But oh, what are we looking at? It'll be nice. And I made I made this one the other day, and I made some other ones. I made this one. Um, also, hang on, I've got to decide which way it goes to show you. They're not easy to show on the stream. But this one's very pretty. It is very it is. pretty, yeah. Wow, Ooh, what, kind of, what, what kind of stone is that? Um, so it's an amethyst, this one. Oh, very it's a pretty. really, really nice piece. It's nice. It's huge. You can't see. Like, it's got, like, little rainbows in it and stuff. And then I've got some amethyst and ametrine and tourmaline on the on the beads there. Very nice. But um, it's a bit special. I like, would, would like to keep it, but I won't. But I am keeping this one. I'd almost suggest that you take photos of them and share the screen instead. Yeah, well... Maybe I have to go outside to take some pictures though. Ah, oh, I didn't show this one, but it's okay. Oh. It's also a stone out of my creek, but it's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is oh, really yeah. cool. The little green yeah, it's on it. Did you find them? Yeah, yeah. So I have a whole lot. I could bring some of my stones out to show you. I have to gather them up. Um, but yeah, I've been finding like lots of quartz but sometimes some other bits and pieces that are very nice. And I was like, yeah, I just wanted to start making something out of some of them. Yeah, okay, I'll do that for you. Sorry, I have a, someone edging in who needs something from me. I'm just going to do the thing that they want me to do. Um, I'll take this opportunity to say hello back to all those people that said hello when my computer was messing up. So, hello. Hello there. Actually, you maybe bring me a hair tie. There's the big bad guy. Wee. All right. He's even got cleavage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then his base is uh, a lot more simple than the girls. Mm. Major, Major maximum. maximum. Doesn't have room for anything mm. on his. He's probably from New Zealand. I would say based on the look of his paraphernalia that he's uh, based on Germanic peoples. Yeah, I think so too. Are you guys the virtual Germans, we think you guys are cool. You guys make great bad guys. Are you going to show us your new snakes now, Bob? I did show you the new snakes. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to drain this tank behind this one so I can put them in there in just a little bit. I don't know. If that's okay. Sure. I think you came with a hat. And this is my finished drawing for anybody that didn't see it that I started last Saturday. There it is. Oh, it's so nice. Real cool. Very nice. And yeah. I gotta start something else here pretty quick, but I was like, I've been painting all day, so I'm resting my eyes for a few minutes and then I'll start something else. Hey, cat. Grasshopper says really? he wants to see Bob Stinger. He wants to see your stinger, Bob. Wants to see what? 
your stinger. No, actually, he said he wants to see your scorpion. <laughs> I'm going to go put my toys away. <laughs> He's such a well-behaved child, that Ed. Always putting his toys away. <laughs> Hello, darling. You want to come up? It's such a shame she always comes up underneath the name tag because she actually actively comes and wants to oh. get up here every time to say hi. I, I want to see her. Let me see her. There you are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't exactly come up on camera very well, does she? No, she's too black to see her. She's like one of those, um, what are they in Harry Potter? Race or something. <laughs> she's a race dog. Is that what they're I'm called in Harry way. Potter? Where are you at, Star? Huh? You mean the Dementors? They're like the one. a creature in a cake. I mean, that she doesn't seem like one of those. What she seems like is like a silhouette of a dog. That's what I can't see any details, you can just see the shape that she's there. Triple uh, A is also experiencing our sticky, sweaty, and so can hot weather. Gross. And uh, again, Triple A appreciate your uh comments i think you might be captain of replay team six at the moment i don't know if that's all up, that's all. Like, <clears throat> sorry i'm just having other conversations and here <laughs> is my uh, overly dramatic four and a half pounds of pure furry <laughs> tiny I found a a uh, model today, and I don't know what it is. It's just a Warhammer <laughs> model, so I thought I would try to put it together tonight. Uh oh! Looks Are like you a be dragon. Able to do it with no instructions. Got some interesting places there. We're just gonna wing it. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you'll get. Maybe you should deliberately try and not put it together how it's supposed to be. Yeah, make make a uh, creation. A creation like of, of arms and legs and body parts going all over the place. <laughs> well, apparently, the back legs, I think this probably goes like this. Yeah. Probably, Ross. I'm going to start with that. Uh. Hmm. It's really heavy. Really heavy. Right, I finally made it to the bottom of the chat. I'm all caught up. Hey, hi, trash cat. Who's that? Yeah, it's done it now. But is that like something that I should be doing? What's I'm that? so What's not that? good with the chat. Well, because you went back. Like, I know. <clears throat> when we go no, on the together and you're like, the only reason posting, I went back you... was. I went back because when I was trying to come in before, I could see people saying hello and stuff. So I was just going back to see who the nice people are that take the time to say hello. Even though I didn't display the same courtesy and name them back by name, I just said hello, everyone. So, you know, it's good little tidbits of information to have in the back of my mind who the nice ones are. Wow. When Christmas time comes around. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that's not for another year. I bet it feels like it's next week uh, anytime soon. Uh, Sam, do you mind running a poll in your chat? Running what? A poll. A poll. A poll? Yeah.
What would you like us to poll, Bob? Fairly certain you can still just use levamisole. You're talking about worming the snake or the rat before you feed it, or give put the dewormer in the rat when you give it to the snake. I think he's talking about putting the dewormer in the rat and then feeding the whole thing to the snake. Yeah, right. That's probably That's... not a not a silly idea. Well, yeah. Then I wondered if the rat metabolizes it. It's a terrible model. Well, well that, I'm considering that as well. What have you, know, you been considering? The warmer, will it work in the snake? Yeah. Like it might not still be active by the time right. the snake starts eating a rat. Yeah, that's pretty valid. Yeah, Huawei, that's a good point. Where's Patrick when we need him? Right. That's what I was going to ask him, and I didn't remember what I was going to ask. I remembered it, but he's not here. Oh, well. I, I would imagine that if you um, if you jammed it down into the rat's belly, and the rat, oh, is it a live rat? Yeah, he won't eat dead rat. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. So that the rat's going to digest the dewormer and. Probably reduce it for efficacy. I see where you're coming from now. The other night he took his rat really fast. I mean, I just put it in and went out of the room and I heard it go, oh, no. And I came back and the head went down. So, if he would do that, it would probably work. But that means that means I'm, going to to, I'm going to have to scrub the rat and squirt it down here. You can inject, you can inject medications too, but I'm not keen about sleeping with you on that snake, but I keep losing Bob's words because his ambient noise is taken over while he's so far from the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm almost done. Hello. Look here. No, I figured out what it is. What is it? A little bit more together before I show you guys and see if you guys can guess. Just dropped his right left arm. So heavy. Good lord, I gotta vacuum this floor. <laughs> so much cat hair. <laughs> I Sand. know the feeling. Except it's different hair on my floor. It does it does ball up though, like cat hair. Well, and then when you have glue on your thing on top of it it makes it worse 
Oh, whoops, I don't want to do that yet. Um, my dog's hairs look suspiciously, though not exactly, but still quite suspiciously like pubic hairs. And so because her hair gets on everything and everywhere I go, there are these little black curly <laughs> hairs on things. So it's a bit fun, really. I thought she wasn't <laughs> supposed to shed. She wasn't. I still don't think she sheds as much and she doesn't smell like it, she smells. She doesn't smell like a normal thing. Smell. So she's yeah. got like, you know, she hasn't got the perfect non shedding coat, but she still drops those little dark and curlies all around the place. <laughs> Pleasant surprises. Any guess? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me blow you up here if I can find my buttons. I like huh. that. As soon as I put its head on, you'll know it. Should mm. I put the head on? Yeah, let's see the head. Yeah. Nice. It has a jaw too. It's a Belrog from the Lord of the Rings, but ah. there's no wing. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. Weren't there little wing pieces in there? No. Nope. I don't even know where I got this model. But you see the big wings? Yeah. And nothing. So. Looks like there's a cave troll in here also. Hey, trash cat. What's cra uh, trash cat went to bed? No, she's here. There's the flame on its back. Cool. To that point. So what's the bell rock from? Oh, Warhammer. Uh, Lord of the Rings. That's who oh. uh, Gandalf said, you shall not pass. <laughs> Gotcha. I'm imagining that this is probably a model that my brother had and he just left it at my house. And it's like I gave him three months to get his stuff before I moved out of my house. And he never once came to get his junk. So I burned a lot of crap. I filled my truck up with his boxes and took them to his apartment. And then he didn't even help take them from my truck to his storage in his apartment. And I was like, well, whatever's left is mine because I'm not, I wish I would have kept more of the good stuff. Are his arms painted on? My brother's? Yeah. Seems like it. Is that an expression you guys use over there? No, but I like it. Is his arms painted on? That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, it's a good one. I like that one. Effrontery. What a lovely word. He was just mad that I was filling up his storage with all of his crap. And it's like, well, I didn't want your crap in my house. I was so mad. I thought it was my dead grandma's junk in my basement. So it's like, you're not going to complain about dead grandma boxes. <laughs> but when I found out, it was just boxes of boxes of textbooks from his college. Uh, empty. They were boxes of empty video game boxes. Because he like saved all of his empty video game boxes. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I was not a happy camper that my basement was being wasted like this or that. At least it's not being wasted now. Oh yeah, now it's a fish tank haven. And then the toys that are left over are mine. That's the spirit. But honestly, I think my mom packed it because uh, she was packing loose things, too. I let my brother live with me for about two years rent-free because I'm a nice guy. 
and then he got married. And I got rid of my brother. So you've got a decent relationship with your brother then? Yeah, well, like, he said if he ever gets a divorce, he wants, he originally said he wanted to move here. But he's like, but I want to live in your, your house and not mom and dad's side. Because we have like a two house house, you know, where I have my own kitchen and living room and everything. I'm like, everything's, you know, separate. And so that's why I decided to build the second fish room. Because <laughs> I have a, Preventative one medicine. of my spare rooms was the first fish room. And he said he would move into my spare. So I turned it into my breeding fish room. <laughs> so now he's going to be stuck in if he ever does in mom dad's uh, guest room but he said that he would probably find his own apartment in knoxville so that's you yeah, better better hurry up and get some fish tanks in your mom and dad's guest room oh i think my mom would love to have him my yeah, mom loves having family out. close by but i i think that they would drive him crazy too. You know, here, you know, he'd be kind of separated. He's you don't have to see each other every day. I mean, I check on him every day because we do, you know, I get him everything. But uh, he could just go out the side. Yeah, I said Hey, Bob, you still That's there? That's a good reminder in Huawei, too. Don't forget to hit the like, everyone. Oh, good point. Does anybody know about those uh, pool enclosures? The what? The pool enclosure. It's like they're all over Florida to keep gators and mosquitoes off you and stuff. Because oh. the alligators just jump in your pool. Oh. Well, I was pricing them, and they're like eight to twenty-five dollars a square foot. And we're thinking about doing it just so we don't have to keep using. At, you know, in the winter time, we have to cover it, and it's a really big pain to put this giant net over or giant thing to keep everything out of it. And then uh, we've got all these trees that drop plants into it and stuff. And you know, I fished a bat out of my pool last year, and. Yeah. Just all sorts of stuff. We we fished a a turtle out, but he was alive. He just couldn't get out. You but, can get those little devices for the edge of your pool that enable animals to be able to climb out. Well, we have like, like stairs. We have stairs on the pool, but they're not smart enough to realize. I think they're stairs. Yeah. I think it's mainly because pool stairs are submerged, so they don't see yeah. something on the surface that they can get onto. That, and it's probably such a big area. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> a lot of times they go into that thing on the side that catches everything. Yeah. yeah. I think they see a hole and think, oh, maybe I can go through that. But... We were thinking about maybe putting one of those in or all up around the pool so that way it'd be a lot less maintenance. Is it like some kind of gazebo y type thing over top of it? Or just goes yeah. on the surface of the water? It's like a kind of like a big screen door gazebo. It's all screened in. And we'd have Got screens that. on both ends. And then my mom was like saying, well, she wants to have some big plants on there and stuff. And so no bugs will eat. Like if she gets like, she wanted to put the lemon trees there. And it's like, mom, if you put the lemon trees in there, then we have the problem with leaves again. You yeah. know? <laughs> like kind of defeating the purpose. But, oh, well. We'll see if it happens. They... I, it it sounds like it would cost between seven and ten thousand dollars, but they said they would pay for it, so I'm cool with that because I'm not. 
And does the pool get regular use? Uh, yeah, we use it all summer long, except yeah. when it rains. It just last year I couldn't do it, help out with the maintenance at all with my bad heart. So dad had to do everything, and I think it was kind of tough on him. And you see, a pool is really nice for my mom because she has such a bad back and bad knee. She has art two artificial knees and an artificial hip. So a pool makes it so she can do exercises. Yeah, I wish Without. I could get my old man into a pool to do water exercises, but he won't go into water. He doesn't swim. Can't swim, won't oh. swim. Nuts. Hey, I don't know. Have to see one in that little one in the backyard. Yeah. It's like a big bathtub, really. Yeah, true. Damn it. Yeah, well, yeah, my yeah. mom, she just does, like, little kicky exercises and things. My dad actually does laps. Yeah, my mom, All I do is lay. <laughs> just lay and drink mom, a beer. That, that, I think that's one of the best uses of a pool, just laying in it, drinking piss, drinking liquor, drinking something. Yep. Yeah, when, when my mum was first diagnosed with Parkinson's, she used to do aqua aerobics and all sorts of stuff like that because it was so much easier for her to do. But yeah, my, my, yeah, my dad doesn't swim because he uh, he lost a sibling ground in one of the farm dams on their property when he was a lot younger, so scared him off the water. That's a shame. And, you know, there's... I mean, he's one of 13 or 15 children uh, and there's quite a few of them out of that clan that uh, won't swim either, don't go in the water. Not many of them left, though. Do you guys have family reunions there? Uh, we used to do them fairly often, but we haven't had one for quite a while. Because my, like I say, my family on my um, dad's side is fairly large, and mum's one of seven kids as well, so her side's fairly large. But yeah, we're all spread out across the east coast of the country, so they they do become quite difficult to manage and finding venues that can accommodate and have functions and stuff. But yeah, I'm sure there'll be another one one day soon. They're generally fairly large affairs, it's having so many cousins and second cousins and nieces and nephews and great nieces and great nephews and whatnot. That's cool. G'day, Chris Howell. How are you? Sounds like a Tennessee family. Well, Tennessee, Tennessee is probably the Australia of the US, isn't it? Yeah. The, the South, part of the South. Have big families. Yeah. We're, kind of, we're the North South. The north a lot of south. people try to compare us to Kentucky, but Kentucky is kind of just its own region altogether. Yeah. They're really backwards. They were the south part of the South that didn't join the South in the Civil War. Uh huh. I guess West Virginia was the same way, or one of the Virginias didn't join and one did. Speaking of Kentucky, I got a little video from Griffin a while ago. You remember Griff, right? Yeah, he's from Kentucky. Yeah. Scuba Steve's from Kentucky. He was driving and Michael was in the back seat jamming out to whatever Griffin was playing on the radio. And I said, I hope he's not stuffing my damn shoes. I always tell Michael I want the shoes he's wearing. Little kid.
Well, it's as good as he's going to get without wings. Well, there's your next project, isn't it? Crafting up some wings for him. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can make know. him some wings. Bit of modeling and clay or spit and paper. That's the whip he grabbed uh, Gandalf with. And pulled him down. So now I'm going to make his cave troll buddy. See how that looks. Maybe that's why my brother didn't want this this uh, model because it didn't come with all the pieces. Uh, Trash Cat, the hey. static you're hearing is because Bob's so far away from his microphone, we're getting his ambient room noise as well. And because he's draining a tank, we're hearing whoosh. I think it's crashing water and I don't know if he's using a pump or not, but it's basically just because he's so distant from his microphone. I believe it's not oh, semi-scientific analysis of the situation. <laughs> That's a brutal screech from that dog. Yes. She's very, like, dramatic. She's like the drama queen. That, that screech was because she thought she might have a toenail hung up in my blanket. But she didn't. But she screeched <laughs> anyway. <laughs> a preemptive scream. Yes. <laughs> it might hurt, so I might as well screech now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was rude to a person last week, and I didn't mean to. He was a well, handicapped guy in a wheelchair at the aquarium. And he wanted to come over and see if he could help me with anything. But I was, like, trying to videotape a turtle. And he, like, rolled up on me and kept annoying me. And I kind of went, what? And then I turned around and I went, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Equal rights, man. If it, and then, uh, uh, when I went to apologize to him, he rolled away, so he, like, rolled to the break room or something. Because he was nowhere in the air, the whole wing. I was like, oh, man. He was just looking for trouble. Yeah. Maybe he thought he could take me until I stood up. Maybe what? He could take me until I stood up. Because <laughs> I was like sitting on the floor Indian style. But it's like there's nobody at the aquarium on a Tuesday morning. So it's like I can do whatever I want pretty much. I'm a season ticket owner. <laughs> Is that your Tennessee Aquarium? Yeah, the one that has the the I'll light up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did a nice video of that eel when I was there. Uh, I'll put a short out maybe uh, later this week of it. I also what? did a little Sorry. video so I could put together a video for him. What's him. their um? What's their big draw card display there, or is it just all draw card displays? Apart from well, the electric cable Christmas tree, dude. They're the biggest freshwater aquarium, at least in America. They used to be the biggest one in the world, you know, with the most fresh water. But uh, I don't know. Dubai seems to beat everybody at everything nowadays, so <laughs> they might have us there. But in America, they're the biggest freshwater aquarium. They have lots of different types of sturgeon. Lots of different types of freshwater turtles, giant arapaimas. You know, they probably have eight, 15, 14 foot arapaimas. Whoa. They have uh, pakus that Bob's trying to get his apakus adopted into their thing, but their pakus are like, you know, this big. So they might eat Bob's paku. I don't know. But uh, yeah. those, those parkies and arapaima just never seem to stop growing. Oh, I know. Well, they're so in if separate they, tanks. If, they kept, if they're kept fed and, you know, healthy, 
they're just going to end up being ginormous. Yeah. They have some ginormous uh, uh, freshwater stingrays that are probably six foot across. Wow. And how long is how the Tennessee carry. Aquarium been going for? Like long time? I think they were in the 80s. It's a really, it's a real pretty one. Bob might know. Hey, Bob. I don't know if Bob can hear us. I'll just look it up. I don't know where it's Bob a, went. It's the prettiest building. It's like two separate buildings. One of them is the freshwater and the other side is the saltwater. So you have to walk from building to building and you take a giant escalator that goes to the very top and then you slowly go down it like a corkscrew so it's it's real friendly to people with disabilities people who want to roll up on you yep. <laughs> oh wow the tennessee aquarium was built in 92. 92. Oh. This is uh, what it looks like from the outside. Oh, yeah. And uh, was that and when it was see, it's actually, yeah, oh, no, you that's walk between. Them. That's the glass roof or something. Wow, yeah, wow. one side has uh, millions of butterflies in it, and the other side has uh, lemurs and things and like that. And birds. Are they like? Is that all of that stuff above, like an aquatic display as well? Are they just part of an aquatic display? Yeah, they're all just kind of like kind of like a zoo type top. Like they also have. Uh, I don't know why they got lemurs, except they can be up in the trees. But they have otters that are always swimming around. They have alligators that get the sunlight. You know, there's like. So it's like kind of a zoo at the top, and then you just go down into the fish world. That's a good one. I can take one person with me every time I go for free. Bob, you're muted. It's a damn good thing I was. <laughs> Bob, are you talking about? I said, I said something like, why would you do that? For the Tennessee Aquarium? No, put me on blast like that without me knowing it. I think she thought you were showing whatever the black thing on your thumb was. Yeah. Oh, is there something black on my thumb? Yeah, I, th I thought you looked like you'd cut yourself or given yourself a blood blister or something. Oh. Might just, sure. It's probably just fish tank filth. Not yet. It's just fish tank. But yeah, they're adding a giant sturgeon touch tank right now. They said it'll be done in March. I wanted to play like places that keep sturgeon. I wondered if they harvest their eggs and, you know, make a little bit of money on the side from sturgeon row. I know. And they have, like, lots of different types, but they don't have the giant sturgeon that I think that they like to get, you know, the real caviar comes from. Uh, are they beluga? Beluga sturgeon? I don't know. They get big. Yeah, that certainly looks like an impressive building. And maybe, <clears throat> maybe they want to um, make more so they can outdo the dubai one yeah well they have a whole campus they have one building that's basically empty they just sell tickets in but they'll have like uh different special guests come there like uh the monster fish guy they used to do that tv show uh jeremy river monsters or something river yeah monsters. What did you yeah, say? Yeah, they Steve? had him there. Jeremy Wade? Not him? Wade. Wade. Jeremy Wade. 
Well, they had him there, and he brought a whole bunch of, like, fiberglass fish, you know, that he's caught. Then they had some, uh, a display with a lot of just other giant fish, and they had a lot of uh, the ones from Australia, those giant, uh... Murray cod? Well, the ones that have, like, a, a saw nose. Ah, sawfish. <laughs> yeah, sawfish. They had sawfish with the stingrays. It was pretty cool, but that was, like, only for two weeks. You know, I recently read that they're in the same family. Yeah, sawfish and, uh, are considered more of a ray than a shark. And I believe... It, even the Australian ones, because there's a South American one and there's an Australian one, I think. And I think they're both, or well, the Australian ones might be endangered. I might be talking shit, though. I'm not sure. But I have a strange feeling then they're, they're either endangered or threatened. I'm not sure which one's worse on the scale towards extinction. Endangered is worse. And threatened comfort or endangered. It sounds sounds reasonable. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready for the whole day. I woke up. Oh dear. How did I eat this day? Thanks, Henry. I was confused her by letting her jump all the way up onto my lap last time. And I think she can come and just jump all the way up. Have a low battery. Oh no. Yay. Steve C says. Sawfish are very threatened here as well. Where are you, Steve C? Big Trimpin, a.k.a. Steve C. And g'day, Steve C. Florida, maybe. I'm guessing they'd probably be in Florida as well. They're probably not supposed to be. Like most things in Florida. Yeah. Especially the humans. Florida, man. So, sorry to anyone in Florida. I lived there for 16 years. It was rough. My mom and dad used to be snowbirds there until I moved down here. And then they were like, well, we don't need to go there for the summer or the winters because we have Edward to drive us around. Right. Not that our winners are bad to begin with here. But they started going to Florida back when they lived in Missouri. Uh, is Kiwi Mamo, are you still here? How far away are you from the nasty flooding and stuff, if you're still here? She was talking about it earlier when she first came in. Mm, I just I just remembered that I did scroll past her saying some stuff about the flooding. A few she people says, have she says her yard is like totally dry and dead, and then there's flooding on the other side, so oh, yeah. of New Zealand. So she's evidently not too close to it. Right. There she is. There is Kiwi. Oh wow. Pam, I'm sending SPCA over there. Okay. <laughs> Kiwi mom. I made a bell wrong. They live, they're from New Zealand. <laughs> One of my nephews just did a, uh, a couple of weeks over in NZ and went and visited Hobbiton, as, as is the go when you're a nerdy kid these days to go and visit that place yeah. she says i'm down the bottom of new zealand flooding is up top of north island yeah yeah it's been all over our news today 
Oh, I mean, well, when I say that, I've just heard it on the radio. I've had the radio on all morning listening to the news and different things. I'm such an old man, I listen to the radio. <laughs> think that's cool i always wanted to be a guy a, a dj on a radio channel i thought that'd be fun you know even if it wasn't for pay just to, for the fun of it yeah i did i did some work experience at a radio station up in north queensland when i was four, probably 16 or 17 and uh i wrote some copy for some ads that apparently got used i never saw any money from it it's just work experience yep. well my buddy was an intern at wcw in st louis but that was a christian radio station he became a baptist preacher so it's kind of fitting i guess They used to give him like all the worst shifts, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, and it's like wow. All the religious holidays. I I think he ended up volunteering more than he needed to for his internship. One oh. of those guys who just wanted to put his hand up for everything, eh? Yeah. I, I can't say no kind of dude. Not he sure if I disguise that burp in my sentence I just spoke. He's the one, though, that's just getting married. He asked me to be his best man about a month ago. You can do it. Yeah, as long as it's not during Aquashella. I told him that. <laughs> That'd be awesome if his um if his wedding date was completely uh reliant on your <laughs> your availability. <laughs> and he ha he has to say to his wife, Oh, so I'm sorry, love, we can't do it that weekend because Ed can't come. But, yeah, there's a fish show. <laughs> but it's funny because everybody's constantly asking When's the Aquashella? And it's like, I can't say. And then I tell him the dates of it because I know he'd never know the difference just to tell him what not to do. But also, I told him, can't do it during the clash. So I already bought tickets to that. Yeah, he, he wants to get married in December so he doesn't have to decorate the church. Or the cathedral or wherever he's going to get married at. And then, uh, but she wants to get married in April. So. I'm available for both. Ah, oh, right. Aquashell is not in either month. Right. The Aquashell is October and May this year. I think it's October. It might have been November, but I think it's the... I think it's the first week of October. That'll be, oh, I think that's the Daytona is going to, it's for the first time ever, it's going to be in Daytona. So that's because cats, Orlando kind of. Is kept, that like Coachella, but with fish yeah, and more drugs? <laughs> probably less drugs, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You can probably find something to smoke out in the outside salmon yeah lots of smoked salmon at uh aquashella until the white people is, start coming yeah it's the premier fish event or convention in america and they do lots of it's for fish and art so there's lots of artists there and stuff I 
better start doing more fish art Pam yeah yeah that'd be awesome if Pam went to an aqua shallow That's they change the um, venue each year, don't they? They travel it around, or is it always well, the same place? It it'll probably always be in Dallas because Dallas is the headquarters, and it's just it sells out at Dallas. And nobody else sells out, so. Yeah. And we used to always do it in Chicago, but the unions kind of bent us over last year, so we're not doing Chicago anymore pretty bad so the, the union's supposed to set everything up on wednesday and then all the vendors come in on thursday to set up well the vent the oh. union didn't show up till friday night where you should start setting up the tables and electricity it was such a mess and then the union's supposed to come back on monday and tear it all down they were tearing it down two minutes after five on sunday so they were putting pe vendors stuff that they sell on the floor and not even giving the vendors time to repack it to put into their vans and trucks it was terrible and it, the union did a lot more other stuff but it might be legal in legal tie-ups so i can't say the the mafia stuff they did <laughs> but it was pretty bad pretty bad and it's well, terrible because, you know, Pam I'm a union man. Pam won't leave her house for anything other than alcohol, cigarettes, and coffee. <laughs> I can There's some truth to that. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to ship things. Well, I put him together. He was easy. The cave troll. Oh, that's pretty cool. It'll be fun Night. to paint. Yeah. But these are little models. And are they, I think they're just are they pewter. Yeah, yeah they're white for them. Yeah, oh, you could probably kill somebody with this. <laughs> if I put that on a sling and shh. <laughs> but uh, I think you're probably supposed to pin it. Have you ever d seen the pewter models where you drill holes and you put a piece of metal in between and you pin them together i think that's how this was supposed to be it wasn't just supposed to be glued because none of these lined up well at all i was using glue just as filler because there's like they sell this stuff that we call it green stuff that you pack into the holes or the cracks and then it dries hard and paint over it well i don't think models need that anymore because they're so precise but these are pretty old. So I'm just filling the cracks in with glue. So when it when I paint over it, you won't see it. Hey Pam. What? Do you mind looking up something for me? What? Substrate for uh, sunbeam snakes. Substrate for sunbeam snakes. I'm on it. It'll be you forest moist kind of stuff i'm gonna put moss in there and stuff but just for the base tonight because they like to burrow in damp dirt yeah. i use a substrate of finely ground coconut choir cool. c-o-i-r mixed with peat moss to create a dirt like substrate one end of the enclosure should be kept very damp i can handle that I think that one that I grabbed that time when it jumped out of its yeah. container, Bob, yeah. it was in really damp stuff because it was so slimy. I think, you know, they must have poured a lot of water in that yeah. container. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just going to leave this tank in here tonight and then I'm going to move it in there tomorrow because i got to move stuff around in there. That's a so pretty do snake. They not need Oh, it's so cool, Blackie. Does it have to be as warm as other snakes? Uh, they like it like 70 to 75 is what I think I read. 
I've got a little heat pad right here to put underneath them, but I don't know if you can really see how pretty they are. So I have Windex on my hands now. What's the temperature of your house right now? It feels like and 100, but I'd say about 70. What you guys don't see is it has iridescence on those snakes. I can see it a little you bit through the plastic. You can really see the rainbow when you're looking at them. It's so yeah, weird. Yeah. That, it never, the iridescence never comes through on camera very clearly. Hey, there he is. It's oh, you can kind of see it, yeah. That's the male. You can, see, yeah, you can kind of see blues and yellows and stuff in it. Oh, yeah, when it hits a certain spot. Oh, there yeah. It doesn't look like a snake when you see them in real life. Boy, I was shocked. Yeah, that one was quite a bit bigger than these. These are like a year old. I think you said they're not fully grown. What's really cool now, is they're, this... they're colubrids, like uh, rat snakes and corn snakes and all that have live babies. What'd you say, Ed? Is this from the guy that lives in your town? No, this is from the place I went today. Yeah, I just remember that guy in your town, though, that goes to the shows that sells them. He said he was from Cleveland. That, this guy's that had the one. This guy's actually from Ohio. Okay. That had these. I've got his card somewhere put up in a safe place. I almost got another uh, um, Brazilian rainbow snake. But I don't know the sex of this one. He had his sex, but they were young youngsters, like four months old. But I need to sex this one before I get another one. Speaking of that, Sarah sent me a really interesting article the other day about scientists dic discovering that uh, female female snakes of nine studied species have clitorises. I saw something about that somewhere. I remember yeah, reading I did too. about that. Well, they really like to dance when they are doing it. <laughs> they have two. I, I did say clitorises. Hmm. But like, if you had multiple snakes, you would also say, so I was just specifying one snake has two. And male snakes have two penises. Oh, wow. Like like sharks. I wonder does that mean snakes and sharks are related? This has this has kelp meal, feather meal, alfalfa meal, it's all natural potting mix. What's that kelp. snake eat, Bob? Uh, Earthworms? They start off when they're small eating, they're insectivores, but then they become uh, carnivores and it's um, it's they're eating large pinky mice now. Frozen thaw. Oh. <laughs> and I've got a cup full of frozen thaw mice here for everybody that wants one or two. Good night. Wonder what mycotone is. What the hell is mycotone? Enriched with mycotone for strong roots. That doesn't sound natural, does it? Mycotone. The myco mycora his his a or whatever are best used in ten five years. There's a spider on the back. Well, it shouldn't hurt it, hurt them. Did you know that they put sugar in all of our American food? And that's promoting us to get fat? Like yogurt? People like get yogurt to lose weight. They said there's more yogurt or more sugar in our yogurt than there is in a bowl of Lucky Charms sugary cereal. Yeah, crazy. You, you got to get your it natural would... unflavored yogurts to get sugar free stuff, and even that's Grasshopper says it. Bob found out snakes have they put, horses from uh, the sugar in our bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> They're like in Europe, none of the bratwurst have sugar in it, but here they put 33 grams of sugar in each bratwurst, even. 
I think they do it because all of our food is got preservatives here, and they got to add the sugar to make the preservatives taste better. Mm. I really I, wish America would have better food. You know, that, remi that reminded me of saying Bob found out that snakes have clitoris from his own studies. That reminded me of this. Um, when I lived in California, there was these two DJs that I used to listen to every morning. They had kind of a semi-talk show and they'd play a little bit of rock music and stuff. But I remember one morning they were talking and they said that um, they read that that um, the French government did a study on why men's penises have a head. And after, you know, spending like $2 million and studying this for two years, they figured out that the reason that men's penises have a head is to um, give more pleasure to the man. So um, the United States decided to do their own study to out, you know, because they couldn't be outdone. So they spent $4 million and four years studying why men's penises have a head. And they figured out that it was to give the woman more pleasure. So the, this pair of DJs decided to do their own study. And they said that they spent a weekend and the cost of two cases of beer and they figured out that the reason that men's penises have a head on them is so that you don't hit yourself in the forehead <laughs> <That's the absolute. laughs> sorry oh i was driving down the road and cracking up <laughs> what you need a <laughs> <laughs> you and Yazi need hobbies. <laughs> am, I, am, I the, am I the only fool that doesn't get it? <laughs> you don't get it? It's so, that you don't it. Hit, so that you don't hit yourself in the forehead. <laughs> you know, it stops your hand from going like that. Sorry. Ah, right. Can you do a demo for us? <laughs> oh, I finally got it. <laughs> it took a while. Oh, I got Thank it you right for the away. demonstration, Pam. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm I'll shut up now. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kiwi Mama, you've sort of you've certainly got to be cautious with some of the way they label foods these days. I mean, reduced oh. reduced sugar could mean anything. Could mean yeah. that they they had a previous recipe okay. that had a little bit more sugar in it, and now it's got a little bit less. They sell these diet bars at the grocery store, and they're pretty expensive. But people buy them because they think it's going to help them with their diets, and they're filled with corn syrup. Right. So it's just that's a, just a different type of sugar. Yep. And they're crazy really high in calories and stuff like that and well, these days yeah we get lots of products that are sugar free and you go to the sugar free and i mean sure it might be sugar free but it means that they've used a whole bunch of other stuff it means artificial sweeteners so for me because i like things that are sugar free i like the taste of things unsweetened so i'll be like oh yeah it's a no sugar thing and no it just means it's got other sweeteners in it instead. Yeah, which aren't good for you either. And I wonder gross. if Australia has the same problems. Do you guys have the same problems we do with food? Yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of our food has too much preservatives and too much sugar and stuff. I think if it's got regular sugar, it wouldn't be so bad. But most of the stuff that is sweetened has that high fructose corn syrup. I've heard that's really and that, and that stuff is really okay. bad for you. Really bad for you. Australia but, um, seems like it's just like part of America, but cooler. <coughs> like it could be it's a, like a state too. Uh, you know, like each one of our states is different. You guys just seem just as cool as any other state. 
Yeah, I think we've just, to attack we've just fallen under the, um, you know, we've spent many decades trying to follow along with America because, you know, America's like our big protector and stuff and ally and whatnot. Really? So it's just, it's just easy for Australian uh, policy and whatnot to just conform with whatever the Americans are doing. But I think also along that line, because we do have a much smaller population, it's much easier for, um, for you know, uh, non-conformity to happen and people to speak up and be heard over the crowd sort of thing when, when we find things that are you know, a little bit shitty for us to have to tolerate. Sure. Pam, have you been into my silicone again? Um, not not recently. Well, I sure would like to put this lid on here and put these snakes in there. Damn what it. type of silicone is it? It's the kind that I'm looking for. Is I don't know. GE? I don't know. It's what I've got on my other ones. I can't remember though. Damn, does it have a screw top, or do you have to cut the top with a and stick a nail in it? Screw top. Okay. Yeah, you see, you see that a lot too, Kiwi Mame. I, I was in the supermarket yesterday and <clears throat> walked past a couple of young ladies, and they were looking at. What were they? Actually, they were looking at a jar of gherkins or something like that and reading the label and actually Googling, or well, I assume that's what she was doing, Googling ingredients to find out what the stuff in it actually was. I read the labels of everything. I read all the labels. If you can't pronounce anything, any of the ingredients in the label, then it's probably not good for you. Right. I mean, basically, like, you know, fruit and vegetables and, like, grains, everything that's not processed and already made into a food is all that's, like, really good for you. As soon as they start doing other stuff to food, and it's, it's hard because we all live a lifestyle where it's extremely hard because to eat that way because I've always tried with my kids and with my family to be like growing veggies and making stuff from scratch to eat really healthily takes a huge amount of time which I think in the olden days you know in the past there was you know family structures facilitated for that where there was people you know at home doing women usually but still yeah. you know doing all of that kitchen work because it is full time and full on preparing all food to have it be healthy so it's so hard to live that way in a modern world so you've got to grab something that's like already that's prepared and that's prepared and that's prepared and they make it cheap and they make it easy to grab but none of it's that good for you and now so many people have you know so many different kinds of illnesses because they're all eating what they need to eat you know what's there because you can't live that lifestyle of eating healthy it's hard that's what it is Ed. i found it oh it is ge though i think yep good job it's on the well i wasn't looking for it then i was just taking the trash out and there it was on the table on from another project 30 minute rain ready 10 year i'm afraid eventually we won't be able to trust what google say uh, because it seems like they take ads from everybody. Right. Like you can't even call a hotel in America anymore. If you nope. type in a phone number for the Holiday Inn in Chattanooga, Tennessee, they'll give you 10 different websites to book the room with that isn't the hotel. Yeah. It's just nuts. The only way I figured out how to get the phone number to hotels is to say directions to. And when you say directions to, there's a phone number that pops down with it. And then I can call the hotel that way mm. to book rooms for stuff. And it's like that for all sorts of stuff with with Google. It's like they're selling ad space for your searches instead of what you're right. searching for first. Yep. Really makes me mad. 
I get bitter. Yeah. I think Google, Google is, so is, awesome. is in trouble right now. I remember reading something about it or seeing something in the news about it. Google is being um, sued for monopoly on on the internet. Something. Well, they buy out every search engine that competes yeah. with them. Yeah. Who owns Google? Google. No. Google, and the other one is the. Um, I know what it was on that I saw it. It's they're also being in trouble, but um, the main one that's in big trouble that there is the um, Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Oh, yeah. Yep. For that having really a monopoly and screwing did. everybody. I think that that singer girl, I don't know what's her name. I don't know any of her music. I guess she lives in Nashville. But, well, whoever that girl was, she should sue them. Because they bought all of her tickets from themselves and then doubled the price. Yeah. Yep. So like, and then they, they, said, and, they then they, and then they and then they add on stuff like like if the artist did. says the tickets are like say this is cheap but say like you're you're an artist or a comedian or something and you're selling tickets for forty dollars by the time Ticketmaster gets done adding all their fees onto it it's like ninety five dollars for that ticket and the artist they were only getting their percentage out of forty dollars you know yeah. Plus, they own a lot of the venues, so they pretty much got a monopoly on it. You don't really have a choice, you know. Well, they did that, all that stuff, but then they, they bought it from themselves as soon as the tickets went on sale and then charged, like, double again. Yeah. And so Madonna, what she should have done is she should have said, I want to sell all my tickets for $2,000 a piece and had the robot thing buy them all up and then just would have made money off of the robot yeah but, oh well corporate greed mm -hmm. who is the singer that that happened to you who is that girl she's somebody from tennessee Hang on, let me see if I can see it. If I She's some type of pop singer girl. Anaya Twain. No. No. The one that's got Anaya the is actually Canadian. Right oh, it's the one that I, I can buy me flowers. It's, Look, it's Taylor Swift. It was Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Yeah, I, have, I don't know a single song she sings. She's a big star. <laughs> She's a star. I think she's a star with kids, like younger kids. Yeah. Oh, hell, I've lost that stuff again there. <laughs> hey, Blackie, do you guys like Taylor Swift in Australia? Um, I'm, She's not personally in my playlists. I believe well, she's a fairly heard talented of her. songwriter. But, yeah, she's she's known. I don't know anything she sings. Shake it off. Shake it off. That's about all I got. Shake thing. it up. I thought Does that was from the 70s. I've heard that. You can add her to your playlist, Ed. Yeah. Taylor Swift music. Huh? Oh, Taylor Swift. Apparently she did a like an acoustic album or something which gets good raps. I won't play it so we don't get demonetized, but No, that Selena Gomez, she sings a song I like. That I'm gonna love you like a love story song. Molly Cyrus has got the big hits right now. Yeah. Miley Cyrus just put out a new song. That's not too bad. For such a sleazy miles. girl, she sings decent. I mean, Miley Cyrus is like a stripper that sings. Her 
daddy is nasty too. I remember when he posed new later on or something. She comes back natural. I'm going to have to razor blade this glass at the top. You know, water so hard I still don't have all that on. She's Dolly Parton's granddaughter or something. Dolly Parton's got a new album coming out here. Make a good stocking stuffer. So did you see the disaster I had with on my Thursday night craft show? Oh. It got yeah. super hot and it melted. Oh no. It came out the top. Whoa. Because <clears throat> I did tests to make sure it wouldn't get hot, but I didn't realize I bought two different types. So the stuff that I tested didn't get hot, and the stuff I used did. I, I'll show you what the, the what it's supposed to look like, even though I got to buy more because I ran out because I was testing with that those two bottles. I'm making fantasy trophies for our fantasy football league. So I've got a goldfish in here. And then I've taken these beer pong cups. How do you know the game's going to go like tomorrow? And that's going to be the trophies. That's pretty cool. I just got to put a little bit more uh, stuff in there. And then I'll put an engraving thing on here for the championship name. But only Oscars won one. And Ryan from PN Aqua won the other. <clears throat> this is actually Ryan's, and this is Jones or June's. From only Oscars. <laughs> How do you That's know the guy's one way tomorrow? Yeah. We'll have to redo this one. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. It's just that freaking stuff is expensive. It's thirty-two dollars for a. I think 30 Yikes. ounces that's not much Yikes! yeah Oops, where did it go well i thought i had a oh here's one nope that's not one either well i bought six of those little oh here's i bought six of these so, and I bought a whole, I bought 12 of the goldfish. So I'm good. But yeah, what a pain yeah. in the butt. So, Ed, how do you know the game's going to go like tomorrow? Well, it starts at 630. Oh. It's starting really late. Gotcha. Normally, they... Start at one o'clock and four o'clock. It's already and called the, out for the for the Tennessee Fish Mafia. You know, Ethan's yeah. gonna be the guest. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's what he said. It's I need to see this. if he has a neurite snail at his store that I can buy. Near I've got, snail. I've got some near snails. They're I want to buy one for my mom's fish tank. These are old. They're like three or four years old. Are they pretty? Yeah. I've got some with stripes and some with dots. Whatever his name, dots. Do they do a good job cleaning? Pretty good. They leave a trail. Did you say, except they leave a trail? Yeah, well, you can see what they've been cleaning. Oh, you know what I did? Well, I bet I threw away the key to this thing. It was in the plastic. I've got extra keys, but... But... Hey, George. Hey, George. Well, I've got some major algae growing on the trees, or the wood in my mom and dad's tank. 
so I thought maybe a nearite might help with that. Yeah. I found my um, gudgeons that I caught. They they seem to like chewing on the uh, black beard algae. Oh, oh, nice! That's handy. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be following that with uh, interest. And oh. also, one of one of the gudgeons, at least one of the gudgeons I caught, may actually be an empire gudgeon instead of just a spotted gudgeon or a striped gudgeon. Oh, cool! That will be nice. Because they are endemic to this area, so they had uh, purple spotted gudgeons at the local fish store the other day at twenty four ninety nine. Well, one of my one of my sons was telling me the other day that his boss has been catching them, um, like twenty kilometers north of here, and normally they were their range didn't start until north, the other side of Brisbane. The capital of Queensland, um, and yeah, now they seem to have spread a little bit further south. He's, wow. He says he, he's catching them in the creeks just a little bit north of here. So that might be a fun expedition to go and try and get some. Yeah, that would spotted. be pretty awesome. Make Is a good video nice? too. Maybe. Can you, what's, can you what's catch them in the stream on your property? Oh well, that's where I've caught that the potential empire and the spotted ones, but. Purple spotteds, no, not yet. But if they're slowly traveling south, they'll be here eventually with all of this climate change and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's well, quite a few little... kinds down here, but um, I can't, I don't, I have to sit really still and then they come and swim up around me. But there's like different ones, there's like little ones, and then there's like big ones as well. well. The purple spotted gudgeons do get pretty big, but their their colouring is also quite noticeable. So you'd certainly notice their leery patterns compared to most of the other gudgeons around here. And like, because I looked at so mine, mine, and I reckon if you were looking through you know, your murky water sitting in the creek and you're looking down, you don't have that good vision. I don't reckon you would be able to tell that accurately. Yeah, you'd need some polarised sunglasses on. Aren't the Empire ones are the ones that are red with all those extra fins and stuff on them? Yeah. So wouldn't they stand out a lot compared to the others? Wouldn't you be able to tell if the one you've got is or is it just because it's young or it's yeah, female? It's too young it has not colored up or anything but it's definitely got the appropriate fin shapes wow, but yeah unfortunately the um spotted gudgeons have very similar long dorsal fins as well mm. so yeah you've sort of got to wait until they reach maturity before you can really truly identify them because i was i was trying to look them up to see if i could tell what kinds i had and I was like, looking at all the pictures of the different ones, I thought I'm not gonna be able to tell unless they're really distinctly like a great big red one. It, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to tell. Mm. I sit with them, maybe one day. I'm too scared to take my um, phone down into the creek in case I drop it in the water. Feel you there. But if you sit really still, all the gudgeons will all come and swim right up really close to you. Pam, if you want to blow me up, I'm going <clears> to <throat> see if this snake takes off running. Wow, look at that. It's not biting him or anything. Not trying to get away. Hey, that's all rainbows. That's very pretty. He doesn't have a neck. You can see the colors. Yeah, look at that. It's really pretty. Yeah. Trying to get in the light. 
Good job, Pam. He said it was uh, that it was like a jail that they put. Uh, he described it to me how they do that. Do that, but I'm not sure I understood. Wait, it may have been the Brazilian rainbow guy that I was looking at his. Look at all the colors on her head. Yeah. Yeah. When you see them in real life, they're awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. They're like right. uh, Congo Tetras. Very nice. With with a dark gray body instead of a silver body, but still. Uh, you get the iridescent. Which are just so see how cool. calm she is. Remember that other one that was jumping out of that thing and. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed, Bob. Good job. Very pretty. I was telling him that, and he's like, no, no, I raised these, and these are a pair. They stay together. They look like spangles, you know, that you you, that you sew on clothes or something. I don't know. Well, you're going to have to force yourself to touch them once a day so they don't forget human content. No. Contact. She went right in the dirt. She's gone. She slid right in the dirt. She went in the dirt, yeah. So cool. I'll show him going in. I didn't do a very good job of this silicone. Kind of the way their heads are shaved. They're like, uh, you know, they shovel right in there. And borrow is. Yep. He's already on the move here. Do you think he'll let you touch him? He's already coming out. Oh, he's jumpy. Come on. He's a little bit jumpy. What will you do if these two have babies? That's why I got them. I want them to have babies. Oh, wow. There he is. Do they have live birth or do they have eggs? Live birth. Oh, awesome. He's actually a little shinier than her. Yeah, you can really see it in the light. Wow. The light hits it. He's actually a little shinier. She may be about to go into a shed or something. They have little bitty eyes. Little bitty eyes. Lick it and see if it tastes like oil. He's, <laughs> lit, he's, lit, he's tasting me. See him tasting the air. A general Wait. rule is if snakes are flicking their tongues, you're safe. Because they're still interested in what's going on and analyzing what's going on but when they stop flicking you better watch out where are they native to uh south america were these things expensive uh 250 for the pair well that's a good deal i saw other people that had them for a hundred by their sales but they weren't paired and they weren't six so i was happy and nice Man, I wish I would have went to that thing. I forgot all about it, Bob. This guy was really nice, too, that had him. He had uh, iguanas, red, blue, and green iguanas for 20 bucks each. I started to get a couple of them, but I thought, no, they get so big. There you go. Now, when's that oh, one, the time. February one in, in, in uh, Atlanta? That's coming up in just a week or two, isn't it? That steampunk thing. I'll try to look. look. I'll try to find it. I'll look back and see. I'm gonna try to show him going under the dirt if I don't drop this phone. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Can y'all see in the tank? Yeah. She went in right here at the edge of the bow, so. Oh, now he decides to stop moving. Oh, here he goes. She went to the bowl and went right under it. There he goes. Wow. That's, not that's, very, that's, that's only just like half an inch deep over there. But over here, it's like three inches deep. So come on back this way. Here he comes. So where are you, my love? Effortless. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're so smooth, Doctor. You know, they're just slick. Damn. They're slick, slick. Okay. He cautioned me that they were extreme escape artists, so. I'll be escaping out of there. Maybe you could put an electric wire at the top. <laughs> yeah, like a fence. I'm going to be putting a little mouse in there in a few minutes after they settle in a little bit. Let me move them back over. Let me hang back over. Yeah, I'll get some plants in there to help with the humidity. Oh, Chattanooga Aquatics. Okay. Well, it's only one in the morning, and I got them in their home family. Got corn snakes lining up for supper. Pam, you can take me off. Please. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> what did you do now? Oh, I yeah. took you clear off the stream. Um, mm. That'll work. That silicone is not completely, it's tacky, but it's not completely dry, but I don't think they'll come up out of there anytime soon and start pushing. You can put silicone across the top and put tacks on it. I can put it on the top also, can I? Just put it underneath it, but I think I will take your suggestion in. Like upside down thumbtacks. So yeah. that way if they go up, they get a thumbtack in their tummy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way I treat all of my snakes, you know. <laughs> Trying to get etching. I, well, I, I think it's time to call it a night, guys. That's the mess I made when I broke that other tank down. Threw everything in here. Work on that another day. Well, thank you, Pam, for letting me put together my toys tonight. Oh, yeah. thank you for coming up, Ed. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Blackie. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. And Thank thanks, you. everybody, in the chat. And thanks for your great modding, as always, Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Out the links. Grasshopper, who gave you your first um, assignment? Your first hammer. Wrench, I mean. Hammer. I thought you were going to say hickey. I know. I think, right? I think Blackie did. I don't know. I was just curious. No, I, I don't know. I think I was late to the party. I think I had to witness his skills on other people's streams before I jumped on the bandwagon. I think it was you, Pam. If it wasn't you, it might have been me. Oh, well, it might have been me, but I don't remember. Only Huawei knows. Yeah. No, it was oh, me. I don't Blackie. know. If he, it was Blackie. Okay. Yeah. You don't know if he's one of my mods, but if he is, I'll make him one. He's a good one, I'll tell you that. Finally, for once, I'm setting a trend instead of jumping on a bandwagon. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to shut it down. Everybody have a good night and the good rest of your weekend. And I'm going to go make a blanket fort on my bed here pretty quick because my house is starting to cool down pretty good. <laughs> blanket fort. Look out, Star. Yeah. Right, yep. thanks, thanks, everyone. Take care. Look out for each other and all that nonsense. Yep. Behave yourselves. I Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.